Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 NFL running backs of all time based on overall production and statistics. This list is just one perspective. Feel free to share your own opinions in the comments below. Let's get started with number 10. Number 10, Ladanian Tomlinson. Starting off our list at number 10 is Ladanian Tomlinson. Over his 11-year career, Tomlinson amassed over 18,000 rushing yards and 162 touchdowns. He was a five-time Pro Bowler and a three-time First Team All-Pro. He also won the NFL MVP award in 2006. One of the most interesting things about Tomlinson is that he is the only player in NFL history to rush for over 1,000 yards and catch over 100 passes in the same season. He accomplished this feat in 2003 and is considered one of the most versatile running backs of all time. Number 9, Eric Dickerson. Coming in at number 9 is Eric Dickerson. He played for the Los Angeles Rams, Indianapolis Colts, and Los Angeles Raiders. He is the NFL's fifth all-time leading rusher with over 13,000 yards. He was a six-time Pro Bowler, a four-time First Team All-Pro, and won the NFL MVP award in 1986. One of the most impressive things about Dickerson is that he set the rookie rushing record with 1,808 yards in 1983 and still holds the record to this day. Number 8, Adrian Peterson. At number 8 is Adrian Peterson. He has played for the Minnesota Vikings, New Orleans Saints, Arizona Cardinals, and Washington football team. He is the NFL's seventh all-time leading rusher with over 14,000 yards. He is a seven-time Pro Bowler, a four-time First Team All-Pro, and won the NFL MVP award in 2012. One of the most interesting things about Peterson is that he is one of the most durable running backs of all time. He has missed very few games due to injury and has played through many injuries that would have sidelined other players. Coming in at number 7 is Franco Harris. He played for the Pittsburgh Steelers and Seattle Seahawks. He is the NFL's 12th all-time leading rusher with over 12,000 yards. He was a four-time Pro Bowler, a three-time First Team All-Pro, and won four Super Bowls with the Steelers. One of the most impressive things about Harris is that he was a key part of the Steelers' dynasty in the 1970s and was known for his ability to break tackles and make big plays. Number 6, Curtis Martin. At number 6 is Curtis Martin. He played for the New England Patriots and New York Jets. He is the NFL's fourth all-time leading rusher with over 14,000 yards. He was a five-time Pro Bowler, a two-time First Team All-Pro, and won the NFL rushing title in 2004. One of the most impressive things about Martin is that he was one of the most consistent running backs of all time. He rushed for over 1,000 yards in each of his first 10 seasons and is the only player in NFL history to accomplish this. Number 5, Jerome Bettis. Coming in at number 5 is Jerome Bettis. He played for the Los Angeles Rams and Pittsburgh Steelers. He is the NFL's 6th all-time leading rusher with over 13,000 yards. He was a 6-time Pro Bowler, a 2-time First Team All-Pro, and won the Super Bowl with the Steelers in 2005. Bettis was known for his powerful running style and his ability to break tackles. He was also a great short yardage runner and scored many touchdowns from the goal line. He was a fan favorite and a leader in the locker room and one of the most respected players in the league during his career. Number 4, Tony Dorsett. At number 4 is Tony Dorsett. He played for the Dallas Cowboys and Denver Broncos. He is the NFL's 10th all-time leading rusher with over 12,000 yards. He was a four-time Pro Bowler, a two-time First Team All-Pro, and won the Super Bowl with the Cowboys in 1977. Dorsett was known for his speed and elusiveness. He was able to make defenders miss with his quick cuts and his ability to change direction. He was also the first player to rush for over 1,000 yards in his first eight seasons. Coming in at number three is Thurman Thomas. He played for the Buffalo Bills. He is the NFL's 14th all-time leading rusher with over 12,000 yards. He was a five-time Pro Bowler, a four-time First Team All-Pro, and won the NFL MVP award in 1991. 
Thomas was one of the most complete running backs of all time. He was an excellent runner, receiver, and blocker. He was also a key part of the Bills team that went to four consecutive Super Bowls in the 90s. Number 2, Barry Sanders. At number 2 is Barry Sanders. He played for the Detroit Lions for his entire 10-year career. He is the NFL's third all-time leading rusher with over 15,000 yards. He was a 10-time Pro Bowler, a 6-time First Team All-Pro, and won the NFL MVP award in 1997. One of the most impressive things about Sanders is that he was one of the most elusive running backs of all time. He was able to make defenders miss with his quick cuts and his ability to change direction. He was also known for his incredible speed and acceleration. Number 1, Walter Payton. And finally, at the top of our list at number 1 is Walter Payton. He played for the Chicago Bears his entire 13-year career. He is the NFL's second all-time leading rusher with over 16,000 yards. He was a nine-time Pro Bowler, a six-time First Team All-Pro, and won the NFL MVP award in 1977. One of the most impressive things about Peyton is that he was a complete running back. He was not only a great runner, but also an excellent receiver and blocker. He was known for his toughness and never missed a game due to injury. And there you have it, our top 10 NFL running backs of all time based on overall production and statistics. We want to remind you that this is just one perspective and there are countless other great running backs who have made significant contributions to the game. We encourage you to share your own opinions and rankings in the comments below. These players have left a lasting legacy on the game of football and have set the bar for future generations to come. We hope you enjoyed this countdown and it has inspired you to reminisce about some of the most exciting moments in NFL history. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.